Hi, welcome to Eagle Recaps. Today, we'll be going through a Chinese action mystery film called The War of Werewolf. Warning, this video contains spoilers, so watch at your own risk. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with a scene in a lab where we see a man experimenting on himself. The man allows an alien organism to enter his body, which makes him aggressive. In the next scene, we see a young delivery man, Wenren Lengjun, driving on the highway of Jingyi City. On his way, Lengjun gets a phone call from his uncle Zhang. Uncle Zhang informs him that he has put a cake at his doorstep for Lengjun's birthday. A few moments later, Lengjun comes across a total truck with its driver still inside. Lengjun quickly gets out of his van and goes to check on the unconscious driver. After failing to wake up the driver, Lengjun proceeds to check the back of the truck where he finds another man unconscious, whose body is covered with cuts and wounds. Lang Jun gets a little worried as he approaches this man. As soon as Lang Jun touches him, the same alien organism from the beginning of the movie emerges and entered Lang Jun's body through a cut on his arm. Lang Jun quickly starts getting aggressive, and his body starts shaking. Meanwhile, a group of thugs led by Captain Lang arrives at the scene and finds Lang Jun inside the truck. The thugs try to capture Lang Jun to take him back to the lab for experiments, but it's already too late. As the thugs approach Lang Jun, he completely transforms into a werewolf, which increases his strength, speed, and agility. He easily fights off the thugs, but at last, Lang Jun is shot by Captain Lang with a special bullet called the Inhibitor. Before escaping, Lang Jun manages to seriously injure Captain Lang, who informs her boss, Mr. Zhao, about the incident. In the next scene, we see that Lang Jun somehow manages to reach his home. The incident at the bridge causes him to act strange as he devours everything that he sees in front of him. After a while, Lang Jun passes out in his bathtub and begins hallucinating. After waking up, Lang Jun realizes that all his senses are heightened as he turns on his TV and learns about yesterday's incident. Soon, he shows up at work but gets berated by his supervisor for his disappearance yesterday. Due to his increased reflexes, Leng Jun dodges a beer can thrown at him, which shocks everyone nearby. Later that night, Leng Jun saves a little girl from being run over by a truck. He remembers his childhood days when he used to be bullied. From that moment, Leng Jun realizes that he can use his newly found abilities to his benefit. He goes down to a local boxing gym, where he saves his childhood friend, Chai Yu, from slipping. Soon, the owner of the gym, Li Neng, arrives at the scene and challenges Leng Jun for a fight. But much to Lang Jun's surprise, the owner knocks him out with a single kick. Meanwhile, we see that Mr. Zhao and his gang is keeping an eye on Lang Jun ever since the incident on the bridge. Next, Lang Jun wakes up from a nightmare, in which he sees his father showing aggressive behavior. Lang Jun finds himself in Chao Yu's apartment when he notices that the band-aid on Chao Yu's forehead has the same symbol of Senyulian Pharmaceutical Company that he saw on Captain Lang's body at the bridge. Meanwhile, Xiao's men are on their way to capture Lang Jun. Xiao Yu learns that her missing brother is taken by the same people who are after Lang Jun. But before Xiao's men can capture him, Lang Jun and Xiao Yu escape through the back door. Xiao Yu manages to attach Lang Jun's phone to the thug's car, which helps them in tracking their location. Lang Jun then decides to meet Uncle Zhang, who used to be his father's colleague. Just as Lang Jun arrives at the university building where Zhang works, a siren goes off, as there has been an explosion in the lab. Lang Jun quickly rushes to the lab where he finds Zhang lying unconscious. He asks Zhang about the Sanyulian Pharmaceutical Company, but Zhang refuses to tell him anything about it. After getting out of the university, Lang Jun captures a man who has been following him. As it turns out, the man is the owner of the gym, Wu Neng, who had knocked out Lang Jun in a fight previously. Wu Neng reveals that he is the infamous hacker Kai Zhao. He also mentions that Chao Yu's brother had contacted him before his disappearance. Wu Neng also reveals that the Senyulian Pharmaceutical Organization is trading high-risk illegal chemical weapons with an overseas military organization. It turns out, Lang Jun's father, along with Uncle Zhang, was involved in cross-species genetic research for the same organization. Lang Jun then shows the bulging nerves of his arms, thus revealing his werewolf condition to Chao Yu and Wu Neng. Wu Neng promises Chao Yu that he will save her brother and proceeds to collect more information about the Zenulian organization. Since the tracking signal on Lang Jun's phone vanished by the sea, Xiao Yu and Lang Jun decide to look for clues by the seashore. 
We then see Chao Yu and Lang Jun on the beach, where they both get to know each other. Eventually, Lang Jun reveals his feelings for her. Later that day, as the two of them are walking together, Lang Jun receives a phone call from Wee Neg. But just as he picks up the phone, two cars appear in front of them. Soon, Lang Jun and Chai Yu are surrounded by Mr. Zhao, Captain Lang, and their men. Mr. Zhao confirms that Lang Jun's father was a genius scientist who used to work for them, and offers Lang Jun to join their team. Moments later, Chao Yu loses her cool and demands the whereabouts of her brother. To save Chao Yu, Lang Jun agrees to go with Zhao and his men, while Chao Yu keeps pursuing them on foot. Using her athletic skills, Chao Yu manages to steal the car in which Lang Jun was held captive and the two of them escape. From there, the pair goes to visit Uncle Zhang at the university. Lang Jun confronts Uncle Zhang to reveal details about the Senulian organization and his father. Uncle Zhang is reluctant at first, but later agrees to share the details. Zhang reveals that together with Lang Jun's father, as a part of their research, he extracted genes from wild wolves that were compatible with humans. Using the genes from wild wolves, they developed a special substance that can modify human genes in hopes of curing diseases. Zhang further reveals the circumstances of Lang Jun's father's death. According to Zhang, Lang Jun's father died because of a fire that trapped him inside his lab. Uncle Zhang also requests Lang Jun and Xiao Yu to quit their investigation against Zen Yulian organization, but they are not willing to do so. Eventually, Xiao and his men arrive at the scene and shoot Uncle Zhang in his forehead. This causes Lang Jun to be furious, and he eventually transforms into a werewolf. Since ordinary bullets have no effect on Lang Jun, he easily manages to fight off against Xiao's men. Later, in an attempt to save Xiao Yu, Lang Jun gets shot by the inhibitor bullet that forces him to transform back to his human form. While Chao Yu manages to distract Captain Lang and Xiao's men, Lang Jun seizes the opportunity and jumps out of the window. Meanwhile, Wei Neng arrives just in time to pick up Lang Jun, and they both escape in Wei Neng's car. However, midway through their journey, Lang Jun jumps out of Wei Neng's car and sits alone by the seashore. After realizing that the locket given by Lang Jun's father is a secret key, Lang Jun once again goes to visit Wei Neng. Together with Wei Neng, Lang Jun enters the old gym owned by Wing Neng's father before its renovation. Inside the old gym warehouse, Lang Jun finds werewolf scratches all over the locker room, and he comes across a suitcase. Using his locket as a key, Lang Jun successfully manages to open the suitcase, which contains a tape recorder. Lang Jun takes out the recorder and plays it. The tape recorder contains a confession of Lang Jun's father, explaining the circumstances of his experiment with the alien substance that had unpredicted side effects on his body. Through the recorder, Lang Jun also realizes that his father sacrificed his life to save his son's life instead. Back at the university, we see Mr. Zhao, Captain Lang, and their men investigating Uncle Zhang's lab. On the other hand, Lang Jun reunites with Wei Neng to track the location of the San Yulian secret base. Wei Neng uses his impressive hacking skills to finally locate their base but he also warns Lang Jun about the tight security guarding the perimeter of the base. Meanwhile, inside Sen Yulian's secret base, Chao Yu finally gets a sight of her lost brother, although they are locked inside separate cells. On the other hand, Lang Jun and Wing Neg go inside a ventilation shaft to sneak inside Sen Yulian's secret base. After a while, the pair successfully manages to infiltrate inside the building, although they are met by Zhao's thugs. But using his newly found strength, Lang Jun easily beats them to pulp and clear the area. Later, Lang Jun and Wing Neng decide to go separate ways to carry out their respective missions. Wei Neng goes on to collect evidence against Sen Yulian's illegal activities while Lang Jun continues his search for Chao Yu. Eventually, Lang Jun tracks down Chao Yu's cell, but he is unable to break her free at first. While searching for the keys, Uncle Jean shows up at the scene, which shocks Lang Jun as he saw him dead the other day. Uncle Jean then explains that the reason he is alive is because of Lang Jun's blood sample which allowed him to complete their ongoing research. However, through video footage, it is revealed that Uncle Zhang was the one who trapped Lang Jun's father inside his lab, which eventually led to his death. Realizing the actual circumstances of his father's death, Lang Jun loses his cool and transforms into his werewolf form. Meanwhile, Captain Lang arrives at the scene and reveals that Uncle Zhang is a true villain of the story and he has even killed her boss, Mr. Zhao. Eventually, Uncle Zhang transforms into his werewolf form and proceeds to choke Captain Lang. But Lang Jun interferes just in time, 
and thus begins the War of the Werewolves. Uncle Zhang and Lang Jun face each other in a fierce duel, which proves both of them to be of equal strength. Meanwhile, Hui Lang arrives at the lab to rescue Chao Yu and her brother. After getting out of her cell, Chao Yu decides to go out and help Lang Jun as Uncle Zhang proves to be more powerful. Just as Lang Jun is choking Zhang with a rope, Hui Neng and Chao Yu manage to electrocute Zhang, leading to his death. Since Lang Jun considered Uncle Zhang as one of his family members, Lang Jun grieves at his death. In the last scene, we see Lang Jun reading a comic named War of the Werewolf. On the news, it is revealed that the mysterious hacker, Kai Zhao, has uncovered the mystery of the disappearance of several men and exposed the illegal business practices of the San Yulian organization. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment, and turn on notifications as it helps the channel. Take care and goodbye.